what's going on everyone time to hit back to comic county simulator 2021 in the muscle power series how y'all doing man hope y'all having a good day good evening good morning good night wherever you wherever you're located around the globe all right now here's the one we built yesterday doesn't she look pretty she looks fine in the french wine this one right here mm-hmm that's right but i decided we're gonna we're gonna turn this car into the next junkyard build that's what we're gonna do right here mm-hmm that's right now i got this part that part and that part not from the junkyard but a buddy of mine dropped off his car and he wanted me to fix it up for him and this is his car right here look how rough that is man he went and found this one where did he find this one i think he found it in an auction or something like that i can't remember what he said but it's only got 135,000 miles on it look at the shape this thing's in man she's real rough but we're going but he wants he wants to paint it black uh he wants uh kind of like um he wants to look like an actual trans am you understand what i'm saying because this right here is called the 1979 chieftain bandit or aka pontiac trans am and we're gonna fix that up see we're gonna make that look pretty let's hit, let's hop on our welder here let's get that all done zip, 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 done man and while we're doing that, we're going to come over here. We're going to assemble a motor. Oh, look at that. Pontiac blue. It's not quite Pontiac blue, but it's the best we can do with what we got, man. All right, now we're going to put the oil filter on. We're going to put the coal on. That's right. We're going to put the camshaft in. Now we're going to put the crank on, man. That's right. Now we're going to put the crankshaft caps on. There we go. Just like that, man. All right, look at that. We getting somewhere now. All right. We got one more to do, and we can start putting in the piston, piston ring, man. All right, we got a piston, piston ring right there. Mm-hmm. That's right. We got them little buggers. That's right. We got to do this one, and we got to put this one right here in. And we're gonna do that right there. Mm-hmm. We'll put that one in right there. Mm-hmm. I'll put the rod cap on. Now I'm gonna try to resemble this motor to look like a real one. You know what I mean? And what I mean by that is it's gonna be all one color. There ain't gonna be no chrome this or chrome that or you know what I mean? It's gonna be all blue. Now, he was hemming and hawing about painting the uh, underside of the car, but like I explained it to him, if you're driving in a, in a climate that's not really friendly to the vehicle, you know what I mean, is it's going to rust, it's going to rot, and it's going to look like what he's got, you know what I mean? He's like, yeah, yeah, so, so I went and I told him, I said, I'm just going to have it undercoated, put a little bit of color in it to match the body, and then that's it. It's going to be all that undercoating flat black stuff whatever you want to call it matte black flat black i'm not sure what the color called but that's what we're going to be putting in it see now when i'm done with this motor you're not going to know it's performance i mean it's going to look just like a factory one man that's right well we got that all together now we're going to rotate the motor assembly back around and now we're going to install the cylinder head on it man that's right so look at that Hard to believe it's that's performance. That's what that is right there. Mm-hmm. Before we go any further there, we're gonna put the distributor in. Then we're gonna put the rotor. That's the only way you're gonna be able to tell this thing's got performance foot. Now when I do that, uh oh, she looks stalking factory. That's right. Now we're gonna put the other clip B on. I guess we could probably decorate the front of the motor now. You know what I mean? Alright, I'll put the timer chain F on. Put the timer cover on. That's right. Look at it look. Doesn't that look good? I'll put the water pump on. And we're gonna put the crankshaft pulley, a V8 OHV on. I'm gonna put the, I think, I believe this one right here is for the uh, power steering pump. Could be wrong. Like I am, that's for the ultimator. That's right. 
Well, you're going to tell it's performance because of that right there. And also this. I, did, I couldn't bring it to myself to paint that pot. Or this pot right here. I figured I'd leave these alone. But he promised me he's going to keep in this car in the garage when he ain't driving it. So, that's hope, man. Because I don't want to, I don't want to see this car looking like the way it is, man. There's no reason why any car would look like that. Other than neglect, man. See what makes sense to me. Alright, I'm going to put in spark plugs now. Kind of jumped a couple steps ahead, but that's all right. You know what I mean? I'm going to put in the manifold. Oh, look at that little bit of chrome, man. But I didn't paint that. That came that color. So he wants to make it sound a little rough, a little mean. You know what I mean? So that's why we stuck in the cam. And we're going to put in the performance exhaust. But man, she's going to look good when she's done. You got that right. Alright, now we get that done. Put in this last push rod for this side. We're gonna put in the rock arm pedestal assembly. Just like that with the three bolts holding her on. Now this motor is gonna be a tri-powered Pontiac motor. With a distributor in the front. Public service announcement, this is actually a 446 pack for a Chrysler, but that's the motor that came with the car, and that's the one he wanted to put back in, so. Anyway, back to our regular scheduled program in here. That's right, mm-hmm. We're going to put that on just like that. Now we're going to put all the push rods in. All right, we got a couple more to go, and then we're done with that. I'm gonna put the rock arm assembly on, and we'll put the valve cover, the intake, the three carburetors, and then the filter, man. I'm pretty sure I got the right air filter for it. Now we're gonna put plug wires on, just like that. Mm-hmm. Spin around, we're gonna put the center carburetor on first. Then we're gonna put the back one on next. We'll put the fuel filter on since we forgot about it earlier. And we'll put this carburetor on too. Now we ain't gonna stick this breather on just yet, or the air filter on just yet, because I still need to put the motor in the car and put oil in it, see? Doesn't that look good? Doesn't that look like a real Pontiac motor now? Minus the distributor in the front. Pretty sure that's supposed to be in the back, but you know, whatever, it is what it is. Alright, look at that. Ooh, that looks nice, doesn't it? it? Looks real good. That's right, now we're gonna lift this car up in the air. And while that's going up in the air, we're gonna assemble the shocks, see? Shock absorbers. That's right. Get that all done and over with right there. Mm-hmm. We already got the wheels doing. All right, now we come stripping it all down, man. That's right. Look at that, one bolt in. We already got to start using the spray. That's never a good sign. All right, well, that wasn't too, too bad. I only had to do two out of the eight. Now we're going to take out the wheel cylinder, the backing plate, the rear shock. Look at that right there, we got the little bushing. But since none of y'all wanted to leave a comment and tell me what we should have done for the junkyard bill, I took it upon myself and instead of doing that one right there, I decided to do the other one out there, man.
But I mean, it is what it is. It's all right. I don't know, maybe I might put a poll up on here, uh, that YouTube, that TV or whatever it's called, man. See what people want. I'm not entirely sure yet what I'm going to do. Nothing's written in stone. I'm going to pick up that other little back bushing over there. Also, too, man, don't forget to like and subscribe, man. Help the channel grow, man. That's right. Well, I came out easy. I forgot to took the other thing off over there. Come on now, get off of there. You don't need to be on there no more. That's right. Now we can come around to the front. We're going to do the front side. First off, we're going to take off transmission. That's right. Man, that was the first. We never had to spray no bolts, man. All right, see if we can get that bushing right there. I guess we can. We getting skilled, man. All right. Now we take out sway bar and link B. Now we're going to do the other tie route right here. Let's take off the inner one. Take the lower part off. Put the frozen boat. And now we're also going to take off this front little big bushing over there. That's right. Now we're going to spin ourselves around. We're going to take this out. We're going to take out the wheel bearing. We're going to take out the caliper mirror. Now the brake pad. That's right. Take that off. And let's take this off too right there. Mm-hmm. Take out the backing plate, the dust plate, take your pick. We got steering knuckle C. We're gonna spin ourselves all the way over here. There we go, man. We fast. Take off that bushing. Take off the upper control arm. The shock. The coil over. Alright, now take off sway bar and link bay. That's right. Now we're gonna take off the outer tie roll. And we'll get rid of this here inner one. Now let's get rid of the steering rack too. We don't need that in there no more. Take that off. And we're going to take this off right here, the lower control arm. Let's get rid of this cross member, shall we? It's in the way. Now we're going to take off this caliper. Take off the brake pad too. Brake rotor. The dust cap. The wheel bearing. Wheel hub. The dust plate. Now the steering knuckle C. All right, now let's drop this son of a gun down. We're gonna pull that motor out, man. Move that over there. We're gonna pull that motor. There we go. Now we're gonna move. Oh, we don't want to put the motor in there yet, man. We're gonna move this over to car left there, so it's right handy dandy when we're gonna need it. Cause right now we're gonna bring this over to the paint shop. That's right. We're going to get her all spiffed up, man. Now, when he brought that in here, it had C fenders on it. Now, I don't know if I'm a fan of them. I really don't know, man. Hmm. But, let's, let's do it the way on how it's supposed to be done. Bumper B, we'll go C, we'll go the other C, we'll go hood B, left headlight, right tail light, mirror, the other headlight, the other tail light, the other mirror. Now we're going to come back up over here, got to do a door, the window, the other door, the other window, the back window. We got a bumper for this thing in the rear, probably not, huh? Uh, well, man. We'll install the parts of button already, man. All right, let's put this all together right here. There we go. I'm going to do that like that. We're going to put that window in. We're going to put that mirror on. Just like that. Put the hood on. We're going to put the front bumper on. Now 
Now we ain't got his play. He got his play himself, man. That that's his responsibility. That ain't ours. That's right. Now we're gonna put that rear window in. We're gonna put the trunk on. We're gonna put the tail light in. The other tail light in. With the rear bumper. I think we're all done now. Ready for some color. Now that's the factory color right there, but I don't like the way it looks. It don't look right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. You know what we're gonna do? I got an idea. We're gonna move this over to the test path here for a minute. And as it's over here at the test path, we're going to pull this hood back off. And we're going to put a bird on it, man. That's right. The car don't look right without the bird. There we go. All right, let's put, let's put the fire chicken back on. There we go, man. Look at that, right there. Mm-hmm. Now we're gonna put this back car left B. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's right, ain't it? That's right as rain, ain't it? Look at that. That look good. That look real good. Now we're gonna put it back up in the air here, and we're gonna put everything back together on it, man. However, there's one thing I still gotta do. I still gotta figure out what the front pieces are right there. Mm-hmm. Exhaust pipe B. All right. We need two of them. I think I got the right one. I never really know. And we need two of these right there. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Look at that. I did get the right one. Cool. All right, now we're going to come back into here. We're going to get the middle muffler. Now, I didn't forget them. I just never I just never bought them, see? All right, now we're going to put on the other middle muffler. We're going to put on the rear muffler now. We're going to put in the fuel tank. That's right. We're going to put in the fuel filter. All right, now we can put on the rear ring. Like I said, I tried to get some of it to match the motor. Alright, now we're going to back up just a little bit. We're going to put in a little front bushing. We're going to put in the leaf spring plate right there. Mm -hmm. We're going to put in the U-bolt. The other U-bolt. Now, I was going to go solid color all the way through the bottom. But I figured, nah, let's make it a little bit different. All right, now put in the backing plate. The brakes got somewhere to rest on. Wheel cylinder, brake shoe, drive axle, drum. Y'all ready for the wheel now? Oh, that's right. Just like that, man. This time back, take a look at it. Oh yeah, look at that. That was good. Would have been better gold, but. We just did a gold car, so I ain't gonna do gold for a minute. It's all good though, man. Alright, now we're gonna put the leaf spring on on the other side, on the driver's side. We're gonna put in the front little bushing. Now we're gonna also put on the plate on the driver's side. Now we're gonna put in the U bolts. And we're gonna put in right there the other U bolt. Uh-huh, and we're going to put it in that back little bushing, way over there. That's right, just like that. All right, now we're going to put in the knuckle. The rear axle knuckle housing B. Why? Because it's got, it's got drum brakes. It ain't got disc. If it had disc, it'd be a C, not a B. 
All right, now we're gonna put in the wheel cylinder right there. Mm-hmm. Brake shoe. Now we got the drum, man. It's gonna play us a tune. I've got the other wheel right here. Mm-hmm. All right, now we're gonna boot scoot and boogie up here to the front. Have to get my spot on. There we go. Just like that. Put it in a cross member. Now, I'm not putting these exhaust pipes in yet, not till the motor goes in. Once the motor goes in, then we can put them on. Not until, man. It'll, get, it'll say, can't install engine inside of one in play. Now we're going to put in the other bushing. The bigger bushing. We're going to put in the steering rack right there. Mm -hmm. and we're going to put in the sway bar B. That's right. Got a couple of them kicking around the shop there. Put in the other big bushing. That's right. Just like that, man. Now we're going to come over here, we're going to put in steering knuckle C. And we're going to put in the inner tie rod first. And now we're going to put in the outer tie rod right there. Mm -hmm. We're going to put in the upper control arm. And now we're going to put the lower one in. Help hold it all together, man. And then we're going to put it in the coil over shop right there. Mm -hmm. might, maybe I might have went a little too too much black on the front, but whatever it is, what it is, man. All that is just a coat and help keep protected from the weather, man. Because he said he wants, he does want to drive it all over the world. Well, all over the places there, so. If he goes into the rust belt, you know what I mean? Oh, look at that, look at that junk right there. Mm-hmm. That ain't accepted, man. All right, let's go over here. Now, we don't need nothing too, too fancy. It's not gonna be high powered model, so we're gonna put something that looks a little bit more stock in play. Yeah, it ain't nothing too fancy, but it's gonna have enough stopping power to stop the car, hopefully. By the aftermarket calipers, you know what I mean? All right, now we're gonna put that on. That's right. Oh yeah, we got matching wheels, man. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna put steering knuckle C on. And then we're going to put the upper control arm on. That's right. And we're going to put the lower one on. Just like that. That's right. And now we're going to put the coil over on. We're going to put the sway bar B end link in. Backing plate, dust plate, brake shield. We're going to put the bearing in. The rotor, the center cap, the pad, the caliper. Now we gotta put the wheel on, man. First, we gotta put the other inner and outer tie rods on. I forgot about that. When I bought them, just forgot to put them on. See, like look, look at that wheel right there. Look how, look how, look how, look at, that. That just don't look right on this car, man. It really doesn't. Look at it, it's got triangles, man. Should be diamonds, not triangles. Try to make it look like snowflake real. I mean, doesn't that just look so much better? Almost looks like a real Trans Am, huh? Oh, yeah. We got the motor lights on. Only in the front, not in the rear. We're gonna pop the hood now. We're gonna put all the good stuff in here. That's right. We're gonna start here with the brake, with the mass cylinder. We don't need to put the fuel filter in, because that's already there. Power steering pump. Gonna put in this right there. Mm-hmm. Gonna put the relays on, relay A. We've got three of them. One B, one C. And probably A, B, C, man. For the fuses. Just like that, man. There we go. Now we're going to put the lid on. There we go. We're done. We're going to put the radiator in. We've got to put the washer reservoir in. I think now it's just the battery and we're done. We ain't got one of them, man. 
Which means if we ain't got a battery, we ain't got no starter. How are we supposed to start the car, man? That's alright, we good now. Alright. Now we're gonna bring this back over. Car lift B. We're gonna get that beautiful motor. We're gonna take that motor off the stand. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna put it in the car. Right like that. I mean, would you just look at that? Doesn't that look good? Sorry about that, y'all. Had to sneeze. Must got a little bit of dust up the nose or something. Maybe a little bit of rust. You know, working on all these old rusty cars. All right, now let's put some coolant in it, shall we? Chug, 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 man. All right, we got that done. Now we're going to put some power steering fluid in it. Now I'm gonna go to the bottom there, where I can first where I can first see it at the, at the opening there, because it's still there we go just like that because it's still got to go through the entire system. You know what I mean? It's got to, yeah. And then after this, we gotta put brake fluid in. I put the air filter on. Bring it over to the test path again. Clean that up, a little bit of a mess there. And bring it over to the test path. Give it an alignment with the headlights and the uh, wheels. And then, put the interior in it, man. Haven't bought that yet. There we go, just like that. Put that on. Then we put this on right here. I'm gonna put the top on. There we go, just like that. Man, that looks good, doesn't it? Doesn't that look good? That looks real good. Can you see if you look through? Man, you can. Alright. Now we're gonna bring this over here to the test path. And we gotta hit our catalog up right here. We gotta go to the interior. We're we'll looking for the bandit. There's the bandit rear seat right there. Cause he's he's bounding down, man. They're loaded up in trucking. Man, that's a good movie there, eh? That Smokey and the Bandit. All right, where are you, man? Right there. Never know they made so many Smokey and the Bandit movies, but I got a I got a box out right here of like six or seven of them, man. I never knew they made that many of them. I always thought there was just the three. Alright. There we go, man. She done. Let's hear what this thing sounds like, shall we? Man, I did it again. You believe that nonsense? But nonetheless, we can still give it an alignment at least. It's got transmission started and drive shaft, man. I was so excited about what it looking like. I forgot the main main parts of the car, man. What's wrong with me, man? Look at that, just like that. That's right. There we go. Perfect. All right. Now let's go put this thing back on car lift B, put it up in the air. You know what we're going to do for Buddy? We're going to tint the windows for him, man. He don't know it yet, but that's what we're going to do. He may or may not like it, I don't know. But that's what we do, man. I told you I forgot something, didn't I? Man! I forget everything. Hopefully I didn't forget the drive shaft, man.
And I would put these pots in right there. So it's a good thing I'd lift the motor up anyway, because we would have never been able to get on the dyno with it. Well, looky there, man. She's all doing. Uh, the reason why the body says 90% is because there's no license plates on it yet. Buddy got to come put his own plates on there. That ain't mine. All right. Now we can go over here to Dinah. Let's just start this up real quick, see what it sounds like. Good old Pontiac power, man. All right. All right, we're going to run around the dyno, man. Let's see what we can get this thing up to. Yeah, I want to proceed on the dyno test. From the factory, it's supposed to have 347 horsepower, 4,500 RPM, and 448 foot-pounds of torque at 2,700 RPM. I hope we can make at least 500 horsepower. Let's get started, shall we? Six hundred and forty horsepower at forty five hundred RPM and eight hundred and six foot pounds of torque at twenty eight hundred RPM man. This thing be a fun cruiser man. That's right. I don't know why I brought it over here so quick man. We never even we never even got the windows tended on it or nothing yet. We're gonna do that right now. That's right. Wrong one there, silly. No, we ain't gonna pin we gotta tint the windows on this car, it ain't got no windows. Man, that'd be a fun car, wouldn't it? 640 horsepower? Man! But look at that, right there. Mm hmm. We're gonna bring this over here. We're gonna look at this in the sun. The reason why I always use parking parking spot C is because it's got the best light, man. You know what I mean? But the front clip off on that car is the one I pulled off of this one right here. Mm-hmm. But would you just look at that? Doesn't that look good? That's right, right there, man. Gotta get a good look at that bird out in the sun. Just like that. Mm-hmm. But alright guys, that's going to do it for this video right here. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and also hit that notification bell. And uh, that way then, make sure you click all so that we can get all the newest and up-to-date videos that I post, man. And uh, pay attention to YouTube there because we're going to be putting the poll up on the next game or two that we're going to be playing. So, alright again, thank you very much for watching. Y'all have yourselves a beautiful day. Bye y'all.